Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, September 26, 2017 edition of the Sand and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Baltimore, Maryland. Apple on Monday released macOS High Sierra, the next version of macOS. Actually, originally I thought it was scheduled for today, for Tuesday, but apparently it was released sort of a day early. And with that, of course, we also received respective security updates. The security updates affect a number of open source components. Uh, that has always been a little bit of a problem with Apple products, that they do use a lot of open source components that are often patched much later than the open source components originally were patched, which of course leads to a window here where a vulnerability is known, but a patch is not necessarily available for the respective OS X version. But overall, I didn't really see anything super critical jump out at me. And there was an update for OS X Server or macOS Server 5.4 as well. It only fixes one vulnerability and that's the free radius issue. Yet again, an issue that was patched in the open, open source world a while ago. And in addition, we got a new version of iCloud for Windows 7 and later. Now, as macOS Hi, Sierra was released. Patrick Wardle, who is a respected security researcher at ObjectiveZ.com, he released a possible vulnerability in macOS Sierra as well as Hi, Sierra. The particular vulnerability allows unsigned code to actually exfiltrate the keychain without requesting a password. So the macOS keychain is essentially your iCloud passwords. Uh, this is the built-in password safe that you get uh, with macOS, and it already existed in earlier versions of OS X. Typically, when software accesses uh, this keychain, you would expect a prompt. Now, there was an earlier exploit from about a year ago that allowed Apple Script to be used to acknowledge the prompt because all the user has to do is just click allow. Well, uh, this was actually fixed and that's no longer possible, but apparently there's a new vulnerability allowing for the programmatic exfiltration of your entire keychain without any real user interaction. The only thing the user has to do is, well, uh, launch a program. This general concept has been quite tricky with the OS X and Mac OS keychain, as well as with other password safe applications. Typically, you don't want to ask the user for their password too many times, in particular since some software needs to use these passwords and credentials in the background. So once the keychain is unlocked, which typically happens as you're logging into the system, processes that run as the user sort of have access to the keychain, but they should only have access in a fairly well-defined, restricted way. Of course, all of these details are sometimes difficult to implement, which sort of was shown in the year ago exploit where all you had to do is write a script to acknowledge the access. This new vulnerability, like I said, looks a little bit different. No real details out yet. There's a video demo showing how this particular vulnerability can be exploited, but no technical details as to what's actually happening here behind the scenes. And according to badpackets.net, the US pay TV channel Showtime's website was apparently using the CoinHive Monero crypto coin miner. Now, we have seen this particular crypto coin miner around in the past a couple times, typically placed on websites maliciously. In this particular case, not really clear what exactly happened. So somehow, this particular piece of JavaScript code was added to Showtime.com as well as to ShowtimeAnytime.com. And as a result, visitors to these websites did mine crypto coins for an unknown recipient. 
Monero has become a quite a popular cryptocurrency for these type of attacks. The advantage of Monero is that it can actually be mined quite effectively with commodity hardware. So that's why this CoinHive JavaScript implementation of the miner actually works reasonably well on modern systems. So far, no real word from Showtime as to what exactly happened here, who added uh, this malicious JavaScript to the site. A lot of malware detection engines are now flagging this particular CoinHive miner as malicious and may block access to these websites. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.